Hello guys, today I will show you how to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation. First of all, you need to download Kali ISO from kali.org website. Link will be in the description. Also, link to VMware Workstation with its license key is given in the description. After downloading and installing all the necessary software required for installation, now it's time to start our installation. So let's get started. Open virtual, virtual machine. I have already opened it. Now we have to create a new virtual machine. So click on create new virtual machine. Here you can see welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. We will go with the first option that is typical. Select next. Now select install a disk image file that is ISO file. We have to browse the ISO file that we have downloaded from kali.org. As you can see, I have downloaded the latest Kali ISO file. We will select this file, open, and then click next. As it's a Linux based operating system, so we will select Linux. And for the version, Debian 8.x 64 bit is our version for Kali Linux. If you have downloaded 32 bit version, select Debian 8.6 in the version then click next you can name your virtual machine whatever you like i will be naming it as kali linux and then i will click next here you have to specify disk capacity 20 gb is enough for installing kali if you have to install softwares then you need to increase the disk space i will keep it 20 gb and now i will click next now you can customize hardware for a Kali Linux machine. I prefer 1 GB of RAM for my machine. Also you can increase the number of processors required for your machine. And click close. And click finish. Now the VMware is creating your virtual machine. It will take some time depending on your PC performance. So as you can see here, uh, the Kali Linux machine has been created. Now we have to power on this virtual machine and start installing our Kali Linux on this virtual machine. So we will be powering on this virtual machine. As you can see, our installation process has been started. We will be using graphical installation for our convenience. So click on graphical install. Now we have to select our language. Click on English and then click continue. Select our location. That's India. And click on continue. Now we have to configure our keyboard. American English is the default and we will go with it. So click continue. Now it will take some time to detect and mount CD-ROM. After detecting and mounting CD-ROM, now it's asking us to set the host name. I will keep it default. You can keep whatever you like. And now click continue. There is no need to enter any domain name, so we will skip it and continue forward. Now we have to enter root password. Now it's again configuring the clock and other stuff. Now for disk partitioning, we will go with guided use entire disk. This is the best option. So we click continue. Now we have to select the disk to partition that is VMware virtual. We have to select it and click continue. We have to select all files in one partition and then click continue.
now it's creating our partition and now it has created and we will finish our partitioning and now continue now we have to click yes for writing the changes to the disk as you can see partitions are for in formatting and now installation of the system has been started it's a fairly long process it will take 15 to 20 minutes depending on your pc speed you can use the network mirror if you want but i won't be using it so i will be clicking on no and then continue Now it's installing Grub Boot Loader. It is asking us to install a Grub Boot Loader to the master boot record. Click on Yes, because there is no MBR in the virtual machine. Now we have to click on the second option, option that is there in the SBA. Click on continue. An installation of Grub Boot Loader has started. Now it's completing the final configuration for installing Ali. Now, as you can see, installation has been completed. Now it will boot into our system. So let's proceed. Here you can see we have booted in our machine. It will take few moments. And there we go. As we have created a root account, so username will be root, and then you have to enter your password and sign in. We are logged in for Kali system. So now I will show you how to install VMware tools in Kali Linux so that you can enter into full screen mode. Here you can see there is VM tab. Click on it and click install, install VMware tools. So as now we have downloaded VMware tools and extracted the zip file to the desktop now we will be opening that file in our terminal now we have to list the content in the folder there is one directory named vmware, VMware tools Descript. we will be opening that click enter now again we have to list the contents in that folder here you can see we have vmware install.pl we have to install this by clicking dot black vmware install.pl and click enter it 
tested i have already installed vmware tools but you have to only press enter and keep on uh, installing this uh, vmware on the system so now to enter full screen mode you have to click on full screen mode button but here you see we haven't entered into full screen mode this is because we have to select display resolution which wasn't there before installing vmware tools so go to settings go to displays click on the display as you can see there are more resolutions present than before installing vmware tools select the preferred resolution for your for your screen and click apply and click on keep changes So now you can see we have entered into full screen mode and now it looks like we are using a Kali machine. So that's it from the video today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and comment down for more videos you want me to make on.